Hey everyone, I'm Eric. And I'm Zinnia, and today we wanted to show you how to make this obstacle course game in Octo Studio. The project that we'll be making, you tap on the screen to have this sprite roll across the screen, and you are trying to time it so that it goes through the moving obstacles and makes it to the finish line. Cool. Yeah, let's get started. Yes. So to get started, um, I guess we'll tap create new project. Nice. And then let's add a backdrop because I remember I'll tap photos because I remember you had that. Lava yeah, I love this lava backdrop. Let's yeah. add that to the oh, project for sure. So good. And so then I guess we should add a sprite. And so what do you want to be the sprite? Well, we need something that rolls. I think the, the basketball's right there. And that's a good choice too. I think let's go with basketball. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Well, I'll make it a bit smaller. And then, cool. okay, I remember we also wanted to draw this like lane for the sprite to yes. roll down. Oh, probably add sprite. Yeah, I'll tap add a sprite. And then I will tap paint. You're going to draw it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm going to draw a black rectangle. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. All right. You, you uh, got it. I believe I, in you. I got this. Okay, yep. rectangle and... Yeah. That looks good. Nice, nice. Let me make it a little bigger. Ah, what Ooh, did I do? I think that was a bug. Bug. You're good. Just kidding. Okay, good. And then I'm just gonna make it a little bigger. That looks like centered too. I'll center it just a little bit. Nice. I noticed nice. while I'm centering, I noticed the basketball has disappeared. Oh yes. Okay. So the basketball is layered behind the like mm. lane. So I'm going to go to the scene category and just drag out a uh, the layer block. Yeah. And I'll do. I'll layer this like black behind. lane thing behind okay, the basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. 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 Okay, sweet. So now when the play button is pressed, it'll go behind. Okay, cool. Okay, so next we should add those uh, moving walls or like these yeah, moving yeah, obstacles. obstacles. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, I'll do the same thing for those. I'm going to tap add a sprite and just tap paint. And I will, I'm going to draw white rectangles for these. Nice. Um, okay. And switch the color to white. And let's, here it goes. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, so so you have your obstacle and then just put it where you want it to start. Seems like a good spot. Start. Sweet. And so, yeah, then you can, we want it to be moving up and down in the game. Mm -hmm. So uh, to do that, you can drag out this move block. And I'm just going to change the direction here so I could have it move upward. But yeah, clearly 50 is not enough to get mm -hmm. it to the top of the screen. Because like when the play button is pressed, I can reset it and it will start yeah, back yeah. there. So maybe you could try something like One, 160. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll try one, 160. Yeah. So, okay. So let's see that. Oh, that means it's too much. Maybe slightly too much. Okay, let me try 150. Let's see. That's good. Okay, yeah. I like that. That seems yeah. pretty good. Um, okay, so then, so that will make it go up, but we also want it to go down. So I can just drag out another move block and have it move 150 and down. Except, there we go. <laughs> nice. Nice. And then, okay, I'm going to tap the play button again to reset, reset it. it. And then, okay. So that makes it go up and down. Okay. Oh, that's very satisfying. Nice. Okay, okay. So we got a, our moving obstacle. You know, also, if we put this inside a forever loop and then put it around it, now it will be like forever moving up and mm, down. Nice. And so I'll make this happen when the play button is pressed. Cool. And I remember that you wanted two moving obstacles. Like, yes. I mean, I'm probably more fun with two obstacles. Yeah, like I you want think. it to be a challenge yeah, yeah, to yeah, go yeah, through. Yeah. Um, so yeah, to do that, you can just tap here to open up the sprite mm. list and just tap duplicate nice. um and so now we have two uh walls but okay we should put the other one where we yeah, actually yeah, yeah, want yeah. it to go nice. yeah something like there cool seems good actually you can place it sure yeah. uh that seems that seems good yeah. can i have to play nice. button see what happens yeah see what happens ah, okay so they're going at the same time oh uh, yes okay like they're just completely moving in sync so we probably to add like make it a little more interesting we could make the we could go to the first one mm. and maybe make it wait, wait a moment yeah, yeah, before yeah, it starts yeah. so that they're not starting at the same time. Can I try it? Yeah, go for it. Oh, okay, okay, that's pretty good. We could even do like point, point 0.5. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah. Point 0.5. Nice. So that seems pretty good. All right, Um. so we have a little wait. So we probably want the ball to start moving, right? Yeah. So let's go to the ball sprite, basketball. Probably like when we tap, when we tap, we want it to happen. Yeah, okay, yeah. so I'll do wind tap. Here's something, I don't want to just tap the basketball. I kind of like when you just like tap anywhere on the screen, which is that last option. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah. Like, so like, the player doesn't have to tap the basketball. Yeah, yeah, so, so. Any, you could tap anywhere and the ball will then move. But we got to make a move. So, uh, should we start with the move first? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay, I know move 50 like isn't, that's not gonna be far. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna cut it. I actually know the map. I think it's 320 pixels wide, the whole yes, screen. Yes, right, the whole screen is 320. So I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess like, 250. Okay, nice. And then let's see how good my guess is. Oh. That's like a pretty good guess. Wait, okay, that's pretty yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So let's have the ball spin too. Yeah, okay. yeah. So. I thought like that'd be fun. Yeah, I'm lazy, so I'm going to duplicate this. <laughs> nice. And then 
I'm gonna have it spin. I'm gonna have it, so I'll use the turn block, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, nice. This is also like best guess. Uh, let's try 360 really quick. Yeah, see what 360 does. Decent, decent. I'll, uh, maybe a bit, a bit more spin because you know it's stop spinning. So I'll do five, mm, yeah. five forty. Uh, so that looks good. I hope. Uh, I'll tap again. Again, getting it to go across. You notice? I okay, cool. That was good. That was really good. One thing that I noticed is like it went through the obstacles. Right. So let let's try to code it. So like when I touch, if I if I do it incorrectly and I touch the wall, that we go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like hitting the wall resets you. Yeah. So. I probably wanted to stay in the sprite, right? Yeah, so, yeah I think so, I think it's e pretty easy, like yeah. from the basketball. Yeah, yeah. So like wind touches, I have some options here. Wind touches, when the basketball touches the first, first one. Well, maybe it should go back to the the start. Yeah. We we'll use yeah. a go to block. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We could like, have a go to block and just have it go back to that starting position. Oh, and like it was like exactly where we wanted oh, in the start. Perfect. Yeah, you can just like tap on that menu, that tap on this like location button in the go to block yeah. to set where you want it to go. Um, yeah. And let's make it do it instantaneous, which is that lightning. Yeah. Yeah. So let's let's give it a let's give it a go. Oh, I'm so good that I sorry. Let me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me You're too good at this hit, game, Eric. <laughs> let me intentionally hit it. Okay. Sweet. Um, well, so we did a collision for this first one. We should probably do it for a second one. So I'm going to duplicate yep. and say when it touches the second obstacle, go back. Go back. Okay, let's try. Dude, I'm so good. You're, you're, I just trust me. Trust me. That's going to work. That's going to work. So now we have it where the ball spins, moves, and both obstacles will, will send it back. I guess you could probably design this in a way that it's impossible, but I think we got lucky and it actually is possible to solve. So try it a couple of times. And if like, you're like, this is impossible. Just like maybe add a different wait time. Yeah, you could change how tall the walls are. Cause it, it has happened one time yeah. when we were trying to make it before, like yeah. we made it just impossible. So yeah. Yeah, so, it's, so either the size of the obstacle or that wait time is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think this is good, but like we probably need like a scoring. Yeah, I feel like because you okay. want it, like if you get it a bunch of times in a row, like you actually get a high score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how how do you want to do the, the, oh, the, yeah, the yeah. score so at the end? So let's add the, we'd found this like a uh, finish line looking picture. And so let's oh. tap that add sprite button. And then I'm going to go to photos and we have this like finish line. <gasps> <gasps> Except that. Okay. Pause. Except we'll, we'll, it, broke. <laughs> it broke. We'll be right back. Is this? Oh, this is it. This, this is, is it. Okay. Is it. We're back. Okay. I don't know if we're keeping that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's, let's try it. Um, yeah, so let's try to add it again. Okay, cool. So I'm going to tap uh, the add a sprite button and tap photos. And yeah, we have this finish line. Perfect. And so just accept it. Okay, and it's then, a little big. I oh, could yeah, rearrange so it yeah, for us. Yeah, nice. Just put it at the end here. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, resize it. I don't know how perfect I want it. It looks pretty perfect. Yeah. I was like, I don't know how perfect, perfect. I want it. And then, and then it's like, like, just like, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, okay, then we probably okay. have to code it to do a thing, right? Yes, yeah, how about we go back to the basketball and I'm oh, gonna okay. do use the same like when touches block, um, go to the when to start category, and I'm gonna say like when the basketball touches the uh, finish line, well, we should have it like gain a point in the score, yeah. so I can actually just go with, I can actually just go here and drag out this change variable block, and the project will just come with a variable called score, so I'm just gonna use that. And so let me try that out, okay. Uh, actually, <laughs> Eric, because you're good at this game, I'm gonna try it. Oh, it. Yeah. Uh, dude, it's stage fright. Uh. No, no, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Okay, go for it. What happens? Is that gonna? Ah, oh, okay, no. I... Yeah. Oh, yes. Nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, okay, so there you see, uh, we gained a point in our score, and also, okay, right now it's like over there at the finish line, just staying, but we should have it like go back to yeah, the other like side. Yeah, If you want to play again. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to the. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just duplicate, just duplicate, just duplicate, that duplicate, duplicate this little go-to block and make it go there. And also, so, really quick, I feel like I should layer the yeah, yeah, yeah. basketball in say. front of the finish line. Yeah. So let's try it out now. Okay. okay Wait, I'm gonna try. Nope. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll try it one more time. I I kind of just guessed on what worked here. Got it. Oh, oh my gosh. We'll, we'll do some editing here. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna make this look like we got it on the first try. <laughs> this is wild. Oh my god. What, what have we done? Going on? We may have actually made it too hard okay, for you know ourselves. What I'm do? Should we take our own advice? Should we, make... take, should we take our own advice and make it easier? So <laughs> let me go to this obstacle here yeah. and edit it. Yeah. To make it shorter. That seems that seems reasonable. No, we need to. Okay. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my, gosh. Oh my god. Was, yes. Whoo. Um. So yes, you might need to edit your game to make it uh possible. Um. 
But okay, there, now as you can see, the ball is successfully layered above the finish line and it also resets back to the beginning. Yeah, and I'm not sure how we just cut that, but it took us 10 minutes to figure <laughs> out. So we made this second obstacle, as you see, is a little bit shorter. Yeah. Uh, and it took us like probably 15 tries to yep. do it. Yep. So you should definitely consider manipulating your obstacles to make it doable. But it was a lot of fun. Oh, oh my god, it is, it's so yeah. much fun. You could also make even more obstacles or make more like other maps to your game too. It, technically, if you do want the player to see more parts of your game, there has to be a way to, 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 finish. to finish a level, but yeah. But anyways, it's super fun. I can't wait to see what folks make. But yeah, this was super fun cool. making it with you, Eric. Yeah. And being great at this game together. Yes. Yeah. yes. All right. Um, but yeah, we'll see you in the next one. See ya. Bye.